on another one of these Magnavox record players from Goodwill. I think this is an earlier model that should still have vacuum tubes in it. So I'm gonna get started on trying to repair this one. Probably a similar amplifier and similar wattage with just volume balance and tone controls. But this should be an earlier version, probably predates the Micromatic models. So this one's from 1964. That's the one I've already repaired and made videos on. This is the next one. So there's some mold in different areas. It's a bit different. This entire speaker is up front as opposed to in the lid. So this lid here doesn't actually detach, but this front part with the other speaker detaches. It's just a single cable here to go in right there. I think there's a missing E-clip, but I have an assortment of those to lock this platter down. Other tires seem to be in decent shape, like they'll be salvageable. Probably just condition those with some rubber renew. Got a series of Phillips screws. In here to take this cover out. Got my little glass. Up and I believe this should come apart the same way as that changer mechanism where you basically get into the amp and pop this cover out and then you have to reach way down in there to release the clips in order for this entire changer to come out. What is all this? There's like yarn inside here what in the world i hope that's not like a critter's nest that's bizarre w t f this makes no sense seen anything like this in my life. Look at all that. What the heck? Y'all ever seen a bunch of yarn inside an old record player? Screw on the bottom. I wonder if this is gonna release anything. Just notice this, it's a bit different from the other one, but there's a trim piece I can probably get at from the outside here. And then maybe get at the amp and clear out the rest of this yarn. That's just absurd.
Okay, this is coming out. Look at all that crap in there. Some critter must have gotten into this maybe from underneath, like down here. That's gross. Yikes. Let's hope none of the wires are chewed up. Alright, for my own reference, the green RCA cable was on two to the left, black one was on one to the right. And same with these speaker wires, black to the right, green to the left. And this connector in here goes black, yellow, red from left to right. I think this supplies power to the changer mechanism. But this must have been a nice sounding unit at one time. It's got two speakers in the front. And this one's fairly large. That could be like probably seven inches. It's got like a nice big bass speaker in the front and then who knows what's inside this one. All right, here's a look at the amp. I see provisions for a cover on this. Cover's not there, but you see screw holes for one. So I'm not sure if somebody tried to work on this at some point, or what the case is. Anyway, we've got 600 volt caps, 0.047 microfarad. And what's this one? Can't really see it too well. These are like coupling caps, most likely. 047 600 volt <clears throat> and of course the filter can maybe this red one down here too be another cap. Interested to find a data manufacturer if there is one. All right, here's a look at the filter can. We've got 20 microfarad, 150 volts, 80 microfarad, 150 volts, and 120. Can't make out these other numbers here. Eight five five zero five five. No idea what the rest of that says. And then we've got the schematic in here. So we've got 50 EH5s, like one of these other record players. I think that's kind of an obsolete tube no longer made. And our two channels, connections from the changer. More yarn way down in there, of course. It's kind of ridiculous. Good heavens. Here's some more identification. Model number is one 
SC244F finishes ivory. Wattage 50 or zero? I don't know. When ordering parts, show model, finish, and run number. And this thing's moldy too, if I didn't already mention that. The Tolex on this is shot. And there's mold in there, so not sure how I'm gonna clean that up. This little mat thing is still in good shape, so I'll just reuse it. So oddly, this cover piece for the amp is also held on by these two screws at the bottom on the inside, which is why it wouldn't come out. I guess I'll just take these out. figure out those clips for the floating mechanism of the platter. So these typically just flip down somehow and release the changer. It looks like some kind of screw might be missing from here. Not sure. From underneath, something may have been in there previously or originally. Either tires seem to be in decent shape, like they'll be salvageable. Probably just condition those with some rubber renew. Got a series of Phillips screws. Here to take this cover out. Got my little glass cup, and I believe this should come apart the same way as that changer mechanism, where you basically get into the amp and pop this cover out. Then you have to reach way down in there to release the clips in order for this entire changer to come out. What is all this? There's like yarn inside here. What in the world? I hope that's not like a critter's nest. That's bizarre. WTF. This makes no sense. Never seen anything like this in my life. Y'all ever seen a bunch of yarn inside an old record player? Oh my god. A screw on the bottom. I wonder if this is gonna release anything. 